In this video, you're going to learn how to import an analysis model of a structural steel frame from Analysis and Design Software Start Pro to SolidWorks using add-in for SolidWorks BuildWorks. Okay, uh, so here we have a model already created in STAD. Let's open it. As you can see here, all the supports are being already assigned, uh, as well as loadings and analysis also already performed. You can see there, choose the rendering of it. Uh, quite a simple structure, but the main point here that this is the analysis model and all the members are being divided into separate finite elements okay so let's close start and launch the solid box okay next what we need to do is to create a new document here you can choose whenever to create part document or an assembly it usually depends on the structure of yours you are going to import now we are going to import it as an assembly before further work Save the document. And uh, here on the top of the screen, the main BuildWorks toolbars with all the features, and uh, approximately in the middle is the feature called BuildWorks Import. Here you can choose from various uh, other formats to, Im to import, such as SDNF, CIS2. Now we are going to import an analysis model of Start Pro, so we typically choose import Start Pro analysis model. And on the left of the screen opens the import analysis model dialog. First of all, we choose the model of the start. Next, we can decide whenever we want to import the structure as weldments, uh, SolidWorks structural weldments, or uh, as members. This is the BuildWorks typical members. Let's go to import it as weldments. We can decide to consider offsets or not. And going through the wizard. We are going to the next step. Here we can choose where to place our model centered by box center or by some some point. Next to choose the correct profiles. The build rocks opens the dialog uh, where you can choose the same profile from different standards <coughs> for example for this one HEA 160 profile you can choose uh, whenever to import it as European one or as a German let's choose to import it as an European and the same for the rest of the profiles If uh, BuildRocks does not recognize some of the profiles, they are going to be displayed in the preview as uh, solid rounds. Okay, next opens the exclude members dialog. 
here we can select which members we want to exclude from our model let's exclude all these members from here and simply click next for upper dialog to open in this dialog we can choose to join the members uh, because uh, in the analysis software such as TAD all the members are being divided into finite elements for analysis purposes and now in detailing software we need to have them not divided so we just simply select along select all the separate elements and click join member we can give a name for it or leave the default one and doing the same procedure we are joining the rest of them uh, just to note that you can join only members going one after each other you can't uh, skip uh, some of them and try to join uh, distanced members or members going into other directions than the first one selected okay continue working joining members <laughs> It doesn't matter whenever you're going to join the column first or the beam. Just the sequence of uh, join members in here are going to be the same in the feature manager design tree of SolidWorks after our import is going to be completed so if that's important for you keep that in mind okay next when all the members are joined we simply click next in the wizard and opens the uh, dialog uh, we can group the members into separate parts for creating a detailed cut list or, or bills of materials and here you can choose to create uh, parts for each group uh, from the group list here uh, at the moment it is uh, just a only group of all the beams, all the members inside it and other option is to create uh, a part for each uh, body of the selected group if you have created several groups already or uh, to create a part for each body without creating any groups Mm, let it be selected the first default uh, option so just simply by clicking create new group button opens a dialog here uh, where we can name the group or choose the color for it and after click OK we need to select uh, members which are going to be included in that group repeating the same action we group all the columns, columns in one group all the main beams in another group and so on all 
the bracings. Let's say we, we skipped uh, some of the members and we want to include them later in some, some of the part, some of the group. We can select the particular group and just add the the profiles which need needs to be added. After after we created all the groups, no further wizard dialog opens. We can click OK to finish importing our structure. And the last dialog which opens is the mapping dialog. Here uh, you can see the imported sections from the names from start application and on the right section you can see the applied sections from local buildworks library also there is a possibility to change or change the profile or if it's uh, not assigned to assign it Also, here you can choose the profiles from standard buildrocks database, which uh, consists of various international standard sections databases, or you can choose to import from um, from standard SolidWorks Buildments library, which is also supported by Buildrock. If this option here is enabled, it would uh, save this map settings mm, to the map file and later on importing the same profiles you also would be getting the same names as assigned. Okay, let's click OK and and watch how the structure is being imported. We have the structure successfully imported. Now, if we browse through the feature manager tree, we can see that all the separate uh, members are grouped into into parts as we group them and if we are going to see what's inside the cut list we would get to that all the three members here are the same profile quantity three and the length So okay, that's it for importing the start model to SOLIDWORKS as elements to assembly model. Thanks for watching and goodbye.